Okay, this is Wagner plus Fletcher uh, seed evaluation, whatever the, he the heck you want to call it. Um, we have been seeing a lot of beans going everywhere and we've also heard of beans being referred to now as polyhybrids which is kind of funny if you think of what the word actually means but uh, we're, we're trying to help people set their standards higher than most and you know, there's probably two or three of the packs out of here that I'd go ahead and probably keep if I was actually going to do other people's stuff. Um, we love our purple and our super dense and our other stuff, so we rarely do other people's beans. And we've been given quite a few and the quality is kind of you know questionable my opinion like in this little dish right here uh... let me get a nice pot stem to point with but that one right here that little white one you know if i was potentially buying these in a place like Amsterdam or something like that, I'd pretty much say okay, okay, questionable, questionable, okay, but obviously not from the same strain. You can tell the difference. One looks more like a indica hybrid seed, and then one looks more like a sativa hybrid seed. I like this one right here, and we're going to sort these. Questionable, and the reason why I say questionable is because they don't they look underdeveloped. And again, if I were paying for these in a place like Amsterdam, I'd do exactly what I'm doing, and dump them out on the table and say what the hell you know even this one right here if you look on it and you see the little piece that fell off of it but if you look at it it's kinda really light in color and then on the seam of the seed see that it's really light in color it's basically my perception and my opinion an undeveloped seed or underdeveloped seed so basically these ones if you're paying for them those ones would be kind of I'd tell the person to go and keep them and these ones I'd ask them why if it's the same strand do they look different than this one because obviously they're two different sets of seeds but I'd go ahead and throw them all away because you gotta know what you're growing you, you can't be guessing especially if your health is not good these ones they look fairly decent I'll take them out. I don't know where they're from, but S seeds, if they're all one strand from the same batch, they should all look consistent. They shouldn't look different. And that's another thing that people need to look for is if you get, say, you do a, you get four or five from one person and they all look the same 
They're all the same size, they're all the same shape, they're all the same color, they even have the same little stripes on them, or they have no stripes on them, you know, whatever. But if they all are consistent throughout the seeds, if they all look the same, I'd be kind of wondering if somebody didn't just give me all the same seeds throughout whatever. If they're all, if they all look uniform throughout all the bags, I've seen it a few times already and it's funny, but if they look all uniform, beware of whoever you're getting them from. There's that one. Here's another one I'd be, you know, if uh, seeds like that shouldn't end up in the bag, bottom line. This one right here looks like two seeds were put in the bag, and then the other one, filler. That shouldn't have ended up in the bag. This could have happened during shipping, or whatever, or mishandling, whatever you want to call it. That's an okay seed. Some people are trading seeds that are obviously not theirs if... You know who gives away these ones. And, you know, pretty much trading these for others is kind of uh, disputable, my opinion. You know, but I guess people do what they want. I'd be kind of ticked off if I went and paid for beans and then traded for something that somebody got for free. But... Sometimes during handling, stuff like this happens. I'm not going to show the face of the pack, but people probably know who who gives away these, and the dude's doing a, a great work. And then the the pollen. Can you see pollen? I heard a guy in Utah, a prepper guy, is giving away uh, uh, chicken top ramen flavoring and saying it's pollen. But I don't see no pollen in there. And I actually have give, been given one good pack. And look at those nice ones right in there. They're all fully developed. Nice stripes on them. They're all the same. None of them are cracked. None of them have white tips. Nice seeds overall. And just things to look for. Thank you.